Hey guys, before we start the video, I just wanted to ask a couple things. If you could, make sure to leave a like on the video, that'll help me out a whole lot. And if you want to see more guides just like these and be notified, make sure you subscribe and click that bell, that way you're notified when I upload brand new videos. That will allow me to continue making content like this. And if you're interested on seeing me live, there will be a link in the description below for my Twitch channel, as well as my Discord if you're looking to chat it up, see some memes, uh, keep up with videos, keep up with announcements and all that good stuff. I also do giveaways on Sunday on the Xbox One platform. I stream Wednesday through Sunday. Thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate you watching up until this point, and let's get on to the video. Hello everyone, Wolfram25 here, back with another Warframe video, and today we're going to discuss a little thing called Void Traces, the th stuff that allows you to refine your relics to higher stances, that way you can get possibly higher tier loot out of them when you make them Radiant, Flawless, or Exceptional. Uh, I always do Radiant, but <laughs> I swear, sometimes RNG does not matter with these things and you can have an intact relic and somehow I got a gold. It, I swear it feels like I've got more golds out of intact relics than I have out of radiant relics, but besides the point. So pretty much everything in this video is going to be e almost nearly the exact same as my uh, duck farming video, since in order to get void traces you have to do fissures, in order to get ducats you have to do fissures. Uh, in order to get relics, um, I think the new possible way to farm those is the void missions. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make that a separate video because I just want to—I want to stay on point here. I don't want to—I don't want to veer off and try and go to a different tangent. Yeah, void traces. How to quickly earn them? Number one, get a booster. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that doesn't make you click away, but I'm just going to be straight up and legit with you. I have boosters on all the time, but then again, I know I'm... You're MR30, of course you can get them. I, I know. It just... It takes time. Everything in this game takes time, being on a grinding game, but I'll tell you straight up right now, if you can afford to get a resource booster, you're trying to get Void Traces, get a 30-day one, get a 7-day one, get a 3-day one. Decide on what you want to dedicate your time to, if it's primarily just going to be Void Traces, depending on your mastery rank. Because the higher your mastery rank is, the more Void Traces you can accrue. So yeah, I'm just going to show two builds that I use to speedrun Fissures. Yeah, it's it's honestly just going to be the exact same as my ducket farming video. I'm I'm sorry if that sounds cheesy to just make it so you should have just included it in that video. I feel like when it comes to the search engine of YouTube, everything kind of deserves it, its own video, especially when it comes to Warframe, since this game has like a very, very large learning curve. So I'm just going to show the builds off real quick. I do not, please, for the love of God, do not expect your build to be exactly like mine. Because it's not going to be. Because I've been playing this game for a long time. And not everybody's build is going to be the exact same. And this build may not even the, be the biggest meta. It could be Titania. It could be Mirage. It could be Naja. Naja. It's just I've always stuck with Saren and Gauze. There's my two speedrunning frames. So nothing babbling. I'll shut up now. Show the build. This is the build for her. And you're probably looking at her and saying, Oh my god. Terraforma. Cause she's bad, bro. Yeah, I know. It's two Ermaforma. It's... Primarily for this, for Profit Taker. It's a big ass spooter in Fortuna. But like I said, it doesn't have to be like this. If you got the plat to spend <laughs> in the market, you know, you can buy some of these mods if you want. Or uh, Arc Energize. Big, big spender right there. I've just been doing Eidolons for a long time, been playing for a bit. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm flexing when I say that. It's like, you're a fucking no life. Shut the hell up, dude. Anywho, and <laughs> yeah, this is the build for Saren. Um, when it comes to weapons, I use primarily AoE weapons, area of effect weapons. Uh, Kuva Nucor has always been a highly, highly reliable uh, AoE weapon because it just the amount of DPS output that it has next to the Larkspur is insane, especially in uh, lower tier fissures. Um, I think currently there's a Meso capture up. I'm actually going to be running Gauze, but when there's like uh, a Corpus Meso or anything base Lith, I usually tend to run Saren, primarily for her Miasma ability but like i said riven's not necessary prime mod's not necessary it's entirely up to you if you don't know how to get any of the kuva weapons from liches or something like that let me know in the, in the comments below I, I plan on making liches videos soon on how to like get through their grind really really quickly i plan on working that soon let's go to the big old arc gun called the lark spur that you can bring now with the arc gun deployer another thing that you get in fortuna again riven not necessary six forma not necessary just base this off of what you can Work, work around it with what you can. As far as the pet goes, I highly, 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 highly suggest you get a Smita Kavat. 
reason I say Smita Kavat is because of its ability called Charm. And sometimes it will charm something called Affinity. It'll, it'll call, be called a Affinity Bonus, which gives you double everything. Double credits, double Affinity, uh, double resources. And guess what? If you have a credit, Affinity, and Resource Booster, plus the proc, it will then become quadruple the amount of stuff that you're getting. It will become quadruple the amount of stuff that you are getting. I can't stress that enough. Smita Kavat is still best Kavat. I really wish they reworked some of the other pets, but beggars can't be choosers. And this mod called Tech Enhance, which will increase that buff by another 30 seconds. Um, the chance for that proc happening is like... I think somebody told me like 15% or 7% or something like that, which does seem low, but I mean, out of the millions of runs you're going to be doing on this game, chances are you're going to have quite a few procs in that in that kind of time. So, yeah, there's the speed of Kavat. Like I said, 8 Pharma, not necessary, just I would get Tech Enhance if you can, um, and Charm. Like, the two big, big, big major mods there. Uh, as far as the Tenno class goes, that way you can use energy and utilize this build the best is Zenerik. Primarily reason, or primary reason for Zenerik is Energy Pulse and Energizing Dash. That gives you more energy over time. So if you don't have Energize, guess what? Zenerik to your uh, saving grace to save the day. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, that's because that was, that was just the Saren build. Let me show you the Gauze build. I'm sorry. Gauze. <laughs> Uh, I use Amprex and the Kuva Nucor in him. Amprex is another good AoE weapon, too. Uh. His build is shaped around duration and strength. Um, something I forgot to mention on Saren, I'll actually show you in just a second. Same thing, Energize, Acceleration, Preparation. If you're looking at this mod, you're like, where the hell do I get that? That comes from Arbitrations. Uh, you get Arbitrations unlocked when you do your entire star map, when you've completed every single node. Uh, not including Steel Path. Steel Path this is for later. Regular star chart, complete all your nodes, you'll get access to them, you get these things called Arbitrations. There's Arbitration Jones that drop Vitus Essence. I think this mod costs like 25 Vitus Essence or something like that. Don't want to do that? I think you can buy this for like... button <laughs> spitballed in like 25, 30 plat on the market. Entirely up to you. All right, so one other thing for Saren and Gauze is a thing called Infestibility. I'm going to show you how to get that on any of your Warframes. It is back here, the big abomination. Ooh, nasty. Back here, Helmuth. Uh, you also get, you, well, the main point I should say, you get the helmet from the... Uh, people on Deimos. When you get to like rank 3, you get it from Sun, it's like 10,000 standing. Uh, you have to keep it fed, which is kind of annoying, but it's still one of, probably one of the coolest features they, they added to this game. I absolutely freaking love this thing. I think the helmet system is, is really cool. It's allowed for so many diverse builds in the game, but the ability is called Infestimability. So, when you get your helmet, let's see, what's the Metamorphosis list? What What is it? Festimability, 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 Mark for Death. Or actually, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I'm sorry. You actually get this right off the bat, so you don't even have to have the metaf Metamorphosis in order to have that unlocked. That's pretty nice. So yeah, you can just get the... You'll have it right off the bat. You don't have to worry about your Metamorphosis being up high or anything like that. But yeah, I put that on both my Saren and my Gauze for extra speed. I'm actually going to show a quick run with Gauze. To show you how fast I do fissures, I think it's Meso. Pretty sure it's a Meso. I always, when I'm farming void traces, and I think you should do the same thing too. Don't run your radiance unless you're running in a group. I tend to go solo. If you are faster, if you are a lot faster than the people that you're playing with, including randoms, I would just put it on solo. I run solo a lot, even in fissures. Even though sometimes you can get lucky when you run with randoms. There's the chance that they're running a vaulted relic and you get an unvaulted piece or vaulted piece. And I just, I still don't like taking that chance because I just, I like buying prime junk all day. I, I'm kind of one of those trade chat flippers who just flips shit all day. You suck. Semi, kind of not anyway. But I am rambling again. I would have shut up now and gone to the fissure. I just accidentally pet my cat. That's not what I wanted to do, game. Go over here to our fissures. And yep, it was a capture mission on Ceres. Let's get on into it and see how fast we can do it. We're going to bring down our Archon. Archon is not required, okay? I know some people are probably dreading that, that grind. I know a lot of people that uh, watch my Twitch channel that they just they dread the open world grind because it it's you know it's a big drag but when you got boosters it does make it a little bit easier it's just you have it's just something you else you have to invest time into 
So in the capture mission, just make sure you kill everything in front of you. Because that usually allows the next group to corrupt. And they can drop the reactant. So our target's already down. Let's get rid of these guys. Capture our target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you spawn? I heard you. There it is. It may actually be better to wait for them to corrupt before you kill them. Just FYI. Kind of like jumping the gun here, probably. Hello, Nox. Goodbye, Nox. Alright. Relic is unlocked. Let's speed this up. I'm bonking my head on everything. Or, or taking the wrong route. Cool. Even though I've been playing this game for more than 3,000 hours, I still don't memorize tile sets to a T. Hello? Oh my god, too high, too high. Alright, there we go. Two minutes and five seconds. Easy. How many Void Trace we get? 36. That is also random. Your Void Trace amount is also completely random, just FYI. Sometimes you'll get 12, sometimes you'll get 24, sometimes you'll get 78. I've seen Void Traces drop as high as like in the uh, upper 80s um, with the Resource Booster. I don't, know if it, I don't know if it drops any higher than that. I've never seen anything higher than the 80s. But uh, yeah, that's all I can offer is just a quick example for that. Again, I'm on the Xbox One platform. I stream Wednesday through Sunday. Sunday? What the fuck? Wednesday through Sunday. Jesus. <laughs> I'm on the Xbox One platform. Every single Sunday is giveaway days. Uh, I'm not a Twitch partner. Um, or a uh, Warframe partner. So I can't I can't do like cross-platform giveaways. So I, it's not possible. I do apologize for that. I'm trying to get there. So if, if you want to toss me a follow, uh, go down in that description. Click that link. Toss me a follow if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, just let me know in the comments section below. And remember everybody, strive proudly. And how loudly. Good night, guys.